And welcome back to episode, I believe this is episode 4 of our Pathfinder playthrough. It, uh, on the last episode, we had a visit from a nymph, um, which told us about how the fog was basically killing her forest, and that she needed our help. And then proceeded to instruct us where to look. And in doing so, we left. Um, we're stopped by a rather strange old man, and he told us where Tartuccio was. So we went to the tomb where Tartuccio was and found that he was... He was actually there and in turn was able to get our eeyore like um dwarf uh cleric to uh join the party and a fight ensued and we tried to follow tortuccio's trail but thanks to a very very terrible role we uh we failed to find it so staying to the RP sense of it, we will just continue on and uh, see where it goes. All right. Um, the only place that we know to go currently is here. So let's hit that place up. Arrest is in order. Actually, let's just quickly rest. I sank to such lows after my exile. I was a pathetic sot. Drowning my feelings of uselessness in cheap drinks. How ironic is it that the teachings of Grotus would bring sense to my life? Oh, I can't wait to get Tristan. Tristan. Ready, and let's go do some exploring, shall we? Oh, hey, nice, 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 nice. Water too deep. Gotcha, gotcha. so far just do the outer perimeter and then we'll work in oh well hello there um the dark-haired bandit is kicking the ground irritably when she sees you she squares her shoulders and clenches her hand axe well look who's here he's now i'm not here to blank to blanket the stolen lands and corpses Load your weapons and let's talk. 
I won't kill anyone who leaves the Stag Lord's service or is willing to help me find him, so think about it. Is he really a leader you're ready to die for? <clears throat> Something in your words seemed to impress Kressel. She frowns for a moment and spits. Fine, I won't cut your throat for now. At least. But I also won't kneel to some rest off upstart. Why why would you try to make peace? You're just are you just naturally kind or you've been listening to Lana? Is it so hard to believe that I simply don't want unnecessary bloodshed? You know, life hasn't been good to me, so, uh, so good to me. Kressel replies, sullen, why should I trust you? Alright, here's my piece. The stag lord's been spending more time keeping an eye on the bottom of his glass than on what's going on around him. If you won't answer an insult from some rest-off crook like Jamandi, then you're right. We, should, we chose the wrong leader, so go ahead, do whatever you're going to do. I won't stop you, but I won't help you either. And here, give this to Lana. Bandit places a ring in your hand, then leaves. Oh, I got her wedding ring. Nice. Oh, hey! It's Jode? God? Uh, you see a dark-haired man and about his... You see a dark-haired man of about 45. Though the wrinkles on his face make him look 60 at first sight. He's currently a prisoner, judging from his hands tied and slouching a bit, squinting short-sightedly at the light as he moves his lips as though speaking to someone invisible. He jerks his head up as you notice him. Praise Aristil. Someone uh, finally came and chased off those scoundrels. Thank you, stranger. My name is Jode Kavakin. I'm a priest of uh, Aristotle from Gult. Those bandits attacked me as I was crossing the river, and they wanted to take me to their leader. Make me heal their wounded? Not a chance. The strength granted to me by Aristotle is meant to help honest people, not robbers. First of all, I'm going to release him. Mother's a bit rubbing his hands. Oh, these times. Be surprised to meet an honest man. Is to see is as to see a manticore at a vegetable stall. Ain't that the goddamn truth? Thank you for your help. I'm exhaust I've exhausted my supplies of prayers, but I gladly repay you in the future. Once I've restored my strength, come to me if you ever need healing or blessed. I'm afraid an old fool like me won't be able to handle the mission given me by Aristil on my own. How can I search for the temple when the bandits around here won't let me take a single step? I'll head to Oleg Levitin's trading post, with the place that we just were, to rest and think on what to do next. Please, Traveler, if you happen to discover the ruins of the Temple of the Elk, come inform old uh, Jod. My gratitude will know no bounds. Okay. So now we need to go check out a temple. Failed? Wow, failed by one. Well. That's a right kick in the teeth. Bandit, uh, the bandits' belongings are piled together in a messy heap. Perception 18. Failed, there's nothing of interest. Oh, uh, the desire to save scum that. Oh, uh, the desire to save scum that is hard, but I'm not. It is done. Oh, I will take that herb actually. Kindly. This requires your attention. Please, Lindsay, don't no fail this crap. Now. Please don't fail this trap. Anything else? Okay, I'll take that. Onwards. Okay, so that was a cart. My search was not in vain. Hey, I'll take it. Ring of protection. That's actually that's actually really good.
doing the big thing. Um, I'll put this on her actually because I need the AC anyways. Because Valerie is going to be tanking and I need her to actually have extremely high AC. Especially starting off because Lord knows she ain't going to hit shit. So let's head to the Temple of the Elk, see what's there, and then maybe do some exploring or something. Abandoned hut. The temple of the elk. Oh, we don't know where it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, Let's go this way. That's where we were told about this old hut. Let's follow the river. Rest. Well, she angry. Damn it! I need to find more recipes. Just save here. What no stopping it? now. You're here. Please follow me. Oh, you're the guardian. Oh, yeah. That's the that's the nymph that was in my dreams. Shocking, the Stag Lord's dad was a psychopath. I wonder why he's such a psychopath. Anything around here? Up! Oh. Um, right there. Uh, early game. Gotta love early game where you don't hit a god dang thing. Uh, skin. Oh, wait, skin. No, oh, okay. Alright, let's see. What's over here? Ooh. Copy that. Copy that sweet pancake mix. Um,
Oh, well, good to know the psychopath kept records of him beating his son. Okay. Here I am. See? Just, uh, actually. Let's also get the cat going. What's the cat doing? Oh yeah, this is where, okay. This is where he basically turns on his dad. It is done. Well then. It's just not my lucky day. These rolls, Lindsay. These rolls. All right. I guess I just gotta level up and come back. I guess. Hello. I have been waiting for you. The flowers, birds, and wind told me you would come. Oh, my poor flowers. They will perish before long in this fog. It seems only you can see or hear the nymph. Not many have heard a voice from above, and fewer still are those who followed it to a positive outcome. There. The, dru uh, the druid's notes mention a cache he created using herbs. Do you know anything about that? I know little of the magic of people, but there is a trick we nymphs love to use. Herbs and flowers can keep secrets, as well as reveal them. Place a herb in a chest you wish to hide. It will conceal the treasure from strangers' eyes. Place the herb there again. And it will reveal what was hidden. If the druid used this trick, he probably chose simple herbs, likely those that can be found nearby. I had a strange vision, a young man and an old druid who tortured them. Then they exchanged roles. Yes, yes. The soil, water and stones here are infused with toxic pain and fear. A poisonous essence. You have seen where your enemy's journey began. The one called Stag Lord was once the victim of a cruel madman and has since become one himself. You see now how monsters are born. But what comes of regret for a thing you cannot change? There is no time to be lost. I know little of the magic of... Oh, my bad. Um... Tell me what to do next. Around the hut. Try to find anything that remained of the druid who lived here. I am sure the fog is his doing. This suffocating veil is as vicious as his nature. We should learn more about the fog and the ritual through which it was created. Return to me if you find anything. The past may hide the answers or shape the future. I'll I'll return later. Farewell. I will be waiting. Check that out. Hmm. Hey. What's that? Okay, so you come again. 
Did you find something? Well, I, I was just standing here, but, uh... Found the druid's notes. They mentioned a temple of elk. Let's help us. An ancient temple. The temple of the stag god. Yes, yes, that must be it. The place of power where the druid created the fog. Perhaps we'll be able to cleanse it from there. The temple hides in the thicket not far from here. You will need to go there and purge the place of whatever evil still lingers there, summoned by the druid's sinister ritual. Take care. You are my only hope. I have a clear goal now. I'll continue my journey. Okay. Follow me. To here. victory! Do oh. not falter! Skin. I'll take both of those. Uh, let's try this. It worked. Uh, collect. Alright, first of all, read the book. a weapon I got. I got a plus one short sword. That is going on to you. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else in this place? Anything on its outskirts? Anything useful? Doesn't look like it. Alright, now we know where the Temple of the Elk is and we can uh, start heading that way. I'm personally enjoying this playthrough. It's been a lot of fun, I'll tell you that right now. Temple of the Elk, okay. Um. I think I'm going to head to Oleg's, drop off that ring, see if there's any supplies I can buy, and then... Oh, what's that? Interesting. Let's see. Does he have any supplies I can use? But I also want that XP from... Uh, the ring. Hello? Oh, like, listen, there's, well... Since you dispa uh, dispatched the bandits with such skill, maybe you can help us out with another, another problem. There's a feral swine living here in the woods, not a normal wild pig. We're talking about a vicious boar, as big as a bear and wicked as a devil. The locals call him Tusk Gutter. Many hunters have lost life and limb to him. Beckel Benzen found his lair and went to kill the beast, but never came back, but came back with one leg. Put a bounty on the bo uh, boar's head, but it looks like there's any heroes around bold enough to claim it. Maybe you'll rid of a rid us of this beast. Mary livens up. Hey, we're better than these local wussies, right? Want to bet I can chop off Tusk uh, Tusk snout with a single swing? Come on, let's find out. All right, let's go kill Tusk Utter. Gives you a wide grin and slaps your shoulder. Right, that's the way I like it. Let's do it. First of all, time to sell. Uh, sell, 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 
sell, sell, sell. Okay. have in the works. I have what? I have a master, yeah, master work grade axe and a longsword plus one. Have a ring of protection. Some nice butter. I will take that recipe actually because I want that. Um, you know what? This man has nothing for me. No stopping now. Right. Um. Let's just read this recipe quickly. Where is it? Hello, it's a recipe. Where'd you go? There you are. Onwards. There's your ring. Sister. Okay, so she was your sister. She went to the stolen lands and she fell into the wrong crowd. Rations plus 10. Damn, I'll take it. Alright, how close am I to love? I'm not even close. Okay. Um. Now it's time to head for the Temple of the Elk, and then once we do that, we then go to Tusk Gutters and continue our journey. Arrest is in order. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's rest up, because I also want everybody to have full hit points before we start doing things. Full hit points and full spells. Someone in the road, get ready. The end times are nigh! Well, hello to you too, Harem. Uh, Technic? Oh god, it's a Technic League. Hey, stop right there. Kalia, look at this one. Will he do? Watchful eyes upon you. This one, I suppose, but I don't like his snout. Well, excuse fucking you. Carefully and nonchalantly as examining goods in the market. Listen, you tramps, we're with the Technic League. Our slave died and we need a replacement. One of you will be coming with us. The rest of you are free to go. I advise against resistance. It would be a quick trick to kill every one of you. Choose now the one that will you, you will give. Well. This seems like a perfect time to um, stop the episode. And then next episode, we're going to hand these mage, these people... Their hand on a sil their ass on a silver platter. So uh see you next time. Bye bye.